I'm in the fixed assets module here. Let's have a look at the basic process of creating an asset and then taking it on. So we can go into the asset list here and this is one way to create an asset. You can of course bring an asset on from uh, purchases for example but I'm going to manually create an asset here and the first thing which is a mandatory thing is the fixed asset group so attached to the fixed asset group is a lot of parameters um, that control for example the number sequence so this asset's got a new number for example it controls things like which value models and books are associated and I'll come back to these in a minute so at this stage I'm going to give my asset a name and you'll see that there's a, a lot of other details that you can assign to the asset. So I won't go through all of these, but there's information like technical information, make model, serial number kind of details, insurance sort of details in terms of policy that's uh, insuring the asset, for example where the asset might be located, uh, sorting codes for reports for example, um, some additional sort of notes about the asset and where it might exist if it's associated with a main asset, so a component of an asset for example. Now the basic informational sort of data, the financial information related to the asset is stored in the value model. So the value models is a concept in AX which um, controls the posting to the ledger. So we won't go through it in any more detail to, uh, than that in this particular video but you'll see at this stage we have a value model which um, is currently set to not acquired. So we've created the asset but we haven't financially uh, posted anything about the asset into the ledger. Now depreciation books um, are uh, tools that you can use to track um, depreciation about the asset. Now financially posted depreciation is done through your valid model. So your depreciation books are additional books that you can track uh, for, for an alternate mechanism of tracking how you've tracked depreciation about the asset. So again we'll have a look at these in later videos to explore them more but the main thing is value models is where you're going to track information related to the acquisition, depreciation and disposal of the asset that's posted through to the ledger. So the assets created and this is our number nine let's go and financially acquire the asset so we can do this if we go across to fixed assets and then go to the fixed asset journal and so I'm going to create a new journal here and we can go to our lines and so in this case the transaction type is an acquisition and so you'll see the other transaction types again we can have a look at those in later videos but this is an acquisition and if I drop down the account you'll see that we get the machine that we created which was uh, number nine here so from there I can pick the value model so in this case it's the first one that comes up so this is the consumption and I could put a description for example and the value of the asset so I'm going to say it's uh, $2,000 now where the offset account goes to uh, will be up to your accounting in terms of how you've acquired and paid for the asset for example but in this case it's going to an asset account uh, and the offset in this stage is going to in this demo data or a retained earnings account. So that's pretty much all we need for the entry. Uh, we've essentially got the uh, debit amount which is going to be the value that the assets coming on as and so there's a lot more details that we can specify but again just so that we've got the basic process what I can do here is post it and we'll see that the journal is posted and so if I now go back to our asset and have a look we'll see that if we look at the value models you'll see that they're now set to open um, and if we go and have a look at the transactions we've actually got an acquisition transaction here of 2000 and so if we have a look at the voucher then we'll see the accounting that's gone through 
uh, for the asset and again we can explore this in further videos but you'll see now all of the uh, value models are open um, as well as the depreciation books are now open um, that we can run depreciation so we'll cover that in a later uh, video on how to run depreciation but at this stage the basic asset is created it's been acquired and it's on the books and so therefore we can start managing the asset in AX